Hi, Simon here on toislam.com. Today we have Imam Yusuf with us again. Hi, Imam. Asalaamu Alaikum. Peace be upon you. Okay, so um, Imam Yusuf would like me to choose a random question for him. So I'll, I'll run the randomizer. And the question is, do Muslim celebrate Christmas? Oh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A very good question, interesting question. Thank you, Adi, uh, for um, giving me that uh, question. Well, Muslims do not celebrate Christmas. It doesn't mean Muslims do not respect or believe in Jesus. Jesus, that we call him as Isa is one of our greatest messengers or prophets that we have to believe in. If a Muslim fails to believe or appreciate Jesus as a messenger of God, as a word of God, as a prophet of God, then that individual is not a Muslim. So much importance that Islam and the Quran has given to Jesus or Isa. And Quran, the book of Islam, book of a book given by that Muslims believe has been given by God, Allah, that book of Quran has actually introduced a chapter in the name of the mother of Jesus, Mary or Maryam. That much respect, plus the Quran has highlighted on a number of amazing miracles and teachings of Jesus as well as Maryam. Miracles that are not told even in, um, in some of the Gospels or Bibles, New Testaments. We can find some fascinating miracles about Jesus and, and Maryam in the Quran. Having said that, we do not celebrate Christmas because, first of all, um, the, the birth of Christ is not confirmed to be in the month of December. And we do not have any concrete proof to say that or any evidence to say that in which month Jesus was born. Secondly, we do not have any problem in appreciating and admiring the birth of Isa, who, we, um, who is known as Jesus. We still um, agree with that. Muslims do not. Muslims do not have any problem in admiring, appreciating, and thanking God for blessing the world with a great messenger or prophet like Jesus, Isa. We appreciate that. But we do not celebrate or participate in celebrating Christmas because Christmas is celebrated based on the understanding or consideration that they're celebrating the Son of God or one of the um, three gods or Trinity, Jesus. And we, Islam, Islam does not um, authorize that, does not appreciate or does not accept the concept of Trinity or divinity for Jesus. But the Christmas is based on that concept, that particular concept that Jesus was a God or one of the three uh, God, which is known as Trinity, or Jesus was the Son of God. Because these uh, two or three concepts are not accepted and recognized by Islam, Islam and Muslims do not join the celebration of Christmas. But if it is merely, purely, uh, about the birth of Jesus, we all admire that. And we do not know, uh, we do not uh, have knowledge of which month, in which month Jesus was born. Even the Christian scholars and historians are so, said to be um, having different views in relation to the birth month or day of Jesus uh, Christ. So we Muslims do not um, celebrate Christmas, but we do not have any objection or any problem with our Christian brothers and sisters who celebrate Christmas. This is uh, in the Islamic uh, viewpoint in relation to Christmas. Excellent, thank you Imam Yusuf. And um, 
I hope, uh, hope everyone benefits from that explanation of um, do Muslims celebrate Christmas? Thank you, no, and not, maybe... Uh, Adi, my point was that, before we go further, further, sure. sorry, that, um, yes, we, we do not celebrate Christmas for the reason that that Christmas is celebrated on the ground of, um, uh, of the theory uh, or doctrine that Jesus was the Son of God or one of the God. If, if so, that was a purely, as a messenger of God, if the celebration was like that, yes, we would have shared that. What type of celebrations do Muslims do um, regarding uh, Jesus? Well, Jesus, like any other prophets, there are over 124,000 prophets or messengers of God. Jesus, also known as Isa, in our Quranic Arabic language, he's known as Isa, is one of the top to, uh, five prophets out of 25 prophets mentioned in the Quran. Jesus or Isa has been celebrated in the Quran every time a believer reads the Quran, he or she would find a chapter itself in the name of his mother, Mary or Maryam, which we can't find in, with relation to um, the prophet Muhammad's mother, father, wife, or anyone. Quran has given this a unique status and respect for the mother of Jesus. And this itself is a big celebration. We do not um, limit in a particular month. We actually celebrate every time we mention about our prophet or other prophets. We also try to include messengers and prophets, including Jesus. Jesus is not less important than any other prophet. It's not second to any prophet. We consider Jesus or Isa to be one of the great prophets of God. And that's how, and the other way of celebrating Jesus is that we admire the amount of miracles and teachings that Isa had uh, shared with the world. So this is how we also read every time we say the name of Isa salam, or Jesus, and we do use the word peace be upon him. Unfortunately, because uh, my audience may not understand the word alayhi salam, I'm not using that. But in fact, we are required, expected to say, peace be upon him every time we say the name of Jesus. So uh, that's how Muslims, as Muslims, we celebrate not just the birth, the whole of Isa alayhi salam. Again, in the... Um, in the Quran, in the chapter of Maryam itself, uh, there is a verse that says, peace be upon me on the day that I was born. Now that is that we read. So that is actually celebrating the birth or the incident of the birth of um, Isa alayhi salam. Um, but we do not celebrate Christmas. That's all. Salam. Thank you, Imam. Thank you for answering the question. And I um, hope to have you back again soon. May the peace of God be with you.